Michael, yesterday you talked about needing the team needing to trick their brain into matching the desperation you expect to see from the Lakers. Is there anything you guys can do as a group to make sure that everybody has the right mentality, or do you just leave it up to each individual to address it on their own? Well, we've been here before. I mean, like, we, you know, we, we faced elimination games, closed out games uh, in the past. And so our core group understands, you know, the environment that we're about to face and the energy we're going to get from the Lakers and their crowd. So uh, you can talk about it all you want. You know, at this point, Vinny, it's about going out there and doing it. And obviously, um, we're up 3-0. We played decent basketball, but a lot of areas that we can improve upon. And obviously, I know the Lakers are going to fully test us today. Coach, that's a different two look. microphones. Yeah, I know it's a big deal. Uh, Coach, you look different look tonight. Is that just a little team pride, or just kind of changing it up? I haven't seen you in that sweater before. Wow, that's really a question. <laughs> so, team pride, man. They pay my bills. Um, yeah, the story behind this is well documented. This is Nikola's sweatshirt when he was a chubby little kid back in Sumbor, Serbia. And who would know that all these years later, he'd be a two-time MVP and a finals MVP. But uh, yeah, just uh, you know, Nuggets pride. Michael, do you know how Reggie's doing? Has there been a determination on his availability? Uh, not yet. He's, uh, to his credit, I mean, he's been getting around the clock treatment. I think he's definitely heading in the right direction. Well, he'll go through his pregame routine, kind of see how that ankle is moving how it warms up before we make a final determination. But um, I thought he was definitely going to be out. But the fact that he's questionable right now is, uh, is a credit to Reggie. Michael, you guys entered this series, as the Lakers did, as two of the most efficient three-point shooting teams. And for both of you guys, <laughs> like, the ball hasn't dropped. Is there any That's a nice way of putting it. Yeah, I was going to say, is there any dropped. rhyme or reason as to the why both teams have managed to, to shoot the ball well this series? Is it the the level of defensive intensity? Is it the attention to detail in other parts of the game, or is it just you know, bad, uh, bad luck, I guess? Well, I can't, obviously I can't speak for, for, for the Lakers and what Darvin thinks, but I know for us, I think the last two games were 5 of 30 on shots that are being tracked as wide open. I mean, so the nearest defender is not within 6 feet, and we're 5 of 30. So you're getting great looks. We're just not knocking them down. And, you know, for us right now, from a three-point perspective, Nicole and Michael are shooting it well, then all of our other shooters who have shot it well all year long have not shot it well. Guys like Jamal, guys like KCP, uh, whoever else. So I fully expect that to, to change at some point, and uh, today would be a great day to start that. <laughs> Michael, um, last night or two nights ago, Gabe Vincent talked about how your team just seems more focused with more attention to detail in the third quarter. For you guys, is that something you've established within your culture, or is that a halftime discussion? What, what has kind of enabled that in your uh, championship run and this postseason as well? Well, I think in this series, it's that we're down at halftime every game. So uh, we need to come out in that third quarter with a renewed focus and, and energy. And I'm, um, I'm sure that if we were up at halftime in all three games, we'd probably be saying our focus coming out in the second half is not where it needs to be. So unfortunately, we, uh, we have gotten off to slow starts in all three games. We've been down at halftime. And then we found a way to kind of claw back into the game after being down by 12, 20, and 12 in these first three games. And we'll see what happens today. But I, I think it also speaks to the veteran group that we have and, and understanding uh, the time of season that it is. You know, we, we have to be focused in everything we do. We have to have the requisite energy in everything that we do. And uh, hopefully we have that for not just a half today, but all four quarters. Hey, Coach. Um, in regard to that last question, when you guys have fallen behind in this series in the first half, in your mind, is it because you haven't been shooting the ball, or do you think it's because your defense has not been as intense as you'd hoped it'd be in the first half? Oh, it's definitely a combination. You know, and obviously each game is different. You know, uh, game three, they dominated the paint. They had 70 in the paint. And obviously uh, we had 13 turnovers for 20 points. And I think they're averaging around 17 or 18 fast break points per game in the series. But they're averaging nine of those, nine coming in the first quarter alone. 
And so go back to game three, it's an 8-0 deficit, it's a 14-5 deficit. And our missing shots and turnovers turned into transition opportunities. Um, so I, I think it's definitely a combination where we're getting behind because, yes, we're not making shots, but the defense could definitely be a hell of a lot better. And then when we do turn up the defense, um, then we get out and run. It's been kind of the same script all three games. When we get defense into it, now you can try to run a running team. Uh, and then that's when we're at our best as well. Any last question? Thank you.